everything you didn't know, and so much more about Justin Herbert. The guy's a mystery waiting to be revealed. You're all hair and no arm. What do you do with that? By now, you all know about Justin Herbert, the quarterback of the Los Angeles Chargers. But there's plenty of interesting stuff you don't know about the 2020 Offensive Rookie of the Year. Here are 10 interesting facts you didn't know about Justin Herbert. Family ties. Justin isn't the only one in the family with a football connection to Oregon. His grandfather, Rich Schwab, was a receiver for Oregon in the 60s, although back then they were called the Webfoots. Schwab played on the team from 1960 to 63, and his tenure there was highlighted by a 1963 Sun Bowl victory over SMU. He was teammates with San Francisco 49ers legend and Pro Football Hall of Fame linebacker Dave Wilcox. After his college football career, Schwab became a high school football coach. He even coached the Marist Spartans team in Eugene to a state championship. As noted in an article by Andrew Grief, it was also Schwab who helped Herbert develop a love for football at a young age. And after his college playing career, Rich remained heavily involved in Oregon alumni events. Simply put, Schwab was an Oregon Ducks legend. Schwab also cared enough to sneak into Herbert's football practices. He didn't want to be seen in person because he didn't want to distract his grandson. And if all goes accordingly, Justin won't be the only Herbert to play professional football. Either. His younger brother, Patrick, is a tight end for the Ducks. ESPN ranked the younger Herbert brother as a four-star recruit. He was a red shirt in his rookie year, and unfortunately, an undisclosed injury kept him out of the entire 2020 season. Here's hoping Patrick stays healthy and makes his way to the NFL. Wouldn't it be something if the Chargers reunited him with his brother on the field someday? And in case you were wondering, their older brother, Mitchell Herbert, was a wide receiver at Montana State University. He graduated in cell biology and neuroscience. Smart dude. Playing for two childhood teams. The vast majority of NFL players never get to play for their childhood team. But as many Chargers fans know, Herbert just so happened to grow up rooting for this team as a kid. I grew up watching the Danny Tomlinson, um, Philip Rivers, those guys. Being on the West Coast, Eugene doesn't have any pro sports team. So it's kind of just the Chargers, and that, that was kind of it for us. And his dream came true when the Chargers selected him sixth overall in 2020. After he was drafted, the Chargers shared an assignment Herbert wrote when he was nine years of age. He correctly predicted that he would be a professional football player. Living in Los Angeles. Well, Herbert had the fortunes of not playing for one, but two of his favorite childhood teams. As noted above, his grandfather played for Oregon back in the 60s, and Herbert was born in Eugene. So of course, he and his family attended Ducks games while he was growing up. Justin and his two brothers would sit in section 12 of Austin Stadium. Schwab's family held four tickets in two of the rows. So all in all, Herbert wound up playing for the hometown college team. And then for the NFL team he grew up idolizing. You really can't make it up. Most kids would be happy playing for even one of their favorite teams. But Justin got to play for both. How many professional athletes can say that? About that haircut. Social media had a field day when Justin Herbert showed up to a press conference with a haircut during his rookie season. Gone was the signature Justin Herbert flow. And with that, Herbert suddenly looked 10 years younger. Herbert revealed during the press conference that it was his first haircut since 2017 or 2018. And who was the man behind the clipping? None other than Chargers strength and conditioning coach John Lott. Not saying that it was a professional job, but can we all agree that it was a decent job for someone who's not even a barber? Simple question, why? Why would you let John Lott cut your hair? <laughs> Uh, that's, that, that is a great question. He said he could do it. He said he's had experience. Um, and what? so I, tr I trust the guy and, um, I wasn't looking for anything pretty. Uh, so it, it did the job and, uh, you know, going forward, I might look, um, a little harder to find someone cutting hair, but, uh, it, it was good enough for me. I mean, it could have been a lot worse. Pop did pretty well, all things considered. And no, that's not Sid from Toy Story or young Anakin from Star Wars. For what it's worth, the Chargers' fortunes in 2020 changed following Herbert's new look. They were 2-7 and seven at the time of the haircut, but went on to win five of their final seven games, including their final four, to finish with the 7-9 and nine record. So yeah, maybe Justin should keep the short hair look. This is my normal hair length, and so I, I think that's kind of what trips people out. It's always been this length. Kendall Auto Group commercial stars. Chances are, if you don't live in the Eugene area, you don't know much about the Kendall Auto Group dealership. Thus, you probably don't know the Chargers quarterback is also a budding star in the endorsement field. In 2021, Herbert starred in several Justin Herbert Knows Best commercials for Kendall Auto Group. One commercial had Herbert sitting in a big chair in the back of a pickup truck to show that he knows fishing best. Ooh, not that one. Swim jig in the grass, football jig in the rocks and ledges. Kendall. Oh, and speaking of haircuts, one of the other commercials had Herbert in a chair critiquing a barber's performance. Whoa, 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 whoa. You can't uncut it. 
And finally, there was another one with Herbert sitting in a chair and using a megaphone to guide someone on how to parallel park. Yeah, one more time, keep going, keep going. Use those mirrors. Yep, it's gonna be close. Yeah, bring it back again, bring it back again. See, it's not that hard to parallel park. Anyone can do it. Watch out, Peyton Manning. Your status as the go-to football commercials may be in serious jeopardy now. Herbert also partnered with Kendall Auto Group to present the inaugural Justin Herbert Invitational in 2021. Philanthropy in Uganda. By now, you've probably grasped that Herbert is a humble and very likable guy, and he has put that kind of spirit on display beyond the football field. During the summer of 2018, Herbert and several Oregon athletes traveled to Uganda and worked with Court for Kids to develop a multi-use sports court. The Ducks athletes got plenty of hard labor work in, combining rocks, mixing sand and cement, and they they spread it across the court, as well as setting up the basketball nets, and boom, came out beautiful. It turned out to be a trip of a lifetime for Herbert. He also got to go on a safari experience, where he spotted a pair of male lions from only 200 yards away. Speaking on his experience, Herbert had this to say via the Chargers website. I had always wanted to visit Africa. When I heard about the group going for a great cause, I knew it was a great opportunity. Getting to know everyone on the trip and learning about a different culture was an incredible experience. Wow, pretty down to earth guy. Three sports star athlete in high school. Plenty of today's NFL quarterbacks were also stars in other sports. Tom Brady could have been a star for Major League Baseball's Montreal Expos if football didn't work out. Russell Wilson, Kyler Murray, and Patrick Mahomes also had a baseball background and were even drafted professionally, though they never actually played. In terms of starring at other sports, Herbert was no exception. He attended Sheldon High School in Eugene and excelled in football, baseball, and basketball. Herbert's love for multiple sports prevented him from enrolling at Oregon early. This was because he wanted to finish the baseball season at Sheldon High. Well, Herbert wound up leading his school to a 6A championship, and the basketball team even got to the 6A finals in his second year. Anyone who's seen Herbert throw a football shouldn't be surprised to hear that he was actually a really good pitcher. He could throw into the high 80s. And in 2015, Herbert posted a Cy Young-like stat line with 39 strikeouts and a 1.98 ERA in four and one-third innings. He wasn't too shabby at the plate either, batting 400. Herbert had the tools to potentially pursue a career in baseball. Former Oregon football head coach Mark Helfrich even once stated that the school's baseball coach was interested in Herbert. But ultimately, football was too promising to pass up. And as Chargers fans learned quickly, Herbert certainly made the right decision. Young baseball and softball phenom. While we're on the topic of Herbert and baseball, what can we say? The guy has always had special athlete genes. Herbert revealed in an interview on the Chargers official website that at the age of 11, he won a regional softball toss. He then attended the Nationals in Hershey, Pennsylvania. One year later, Herbert and his baseball team took a trip to Maryland to play in the Babe Ruth World Series a tournament for 11 and 12 year old kids. Herbert hit a walk off homer in one of the games. That's pretty crazy. The guy has always been a clutch athlete. I mean, three game winning drives in his first NFL season and a little league walk off homer kind of speaks for itself. So yeah, the recruitment story. As noted earlier, Herbert was behind in Oregon enrollment so that he could finish out his high school baseball season. Then came the tough part. In 2018, Albert Breer of Sports Illustrated did a profile on Herbert. Breer reported that the latter was close to accepting an offer from Montana State. When he was a junior, Herbert suffered a broken leg. And according to Breer, Oregon decided not to give him an offer until after viewing his senior year. Herbert received several other offers to play football. He got an offer early on from Northern Arizona, and then he got an offer from Nevada. Until then, uh, I kind of planned on playing football with my older brother at Montana State. But before Herbert formally accepted Oregon's offer, well, let's just say the school got away with a little miscue. In an August 2019 interview with Dennis Dodd of CBS, Herbert revealed that his name tag was misspelled as Hebert during his first visit to Oregon. Now, first impressions usually matter. Failing to correctly spell a simple surname like Herbert could have been disastrous for Oregon, but Herbert didn't bother mentioning it to them. And he actually saw the humor in it. Despite their inability to properly spell his name, Herbert took Oregon's offer. And the rest, as they say, well, this history. He helped the Ducks regain their winning ways. And the school obviously did its job in helping him develop into one of the most coveted quarterback prospects of this era. He has the brains too. Every Sunday we get to witness Herbert's high football IQ. But did you know that his intelligence extends well beyond the gridiron? The guy was a model student when it came to his academics. Herbert graduated from Oregon with a degree in biology. In 2019, he was awarded with the William V. Campbell Trophy, widely referred to as the Academic Heisman. The trophy annually recognizes an individual as the absolute best in the nation for his combined academic success, football performance, and exemplary leadership. He was awarded a $25,000 postgraduate scholarship as part of the award. He's pretty much number one, that's it. Herbert was the third Oregon Duck to be nominated, 
and he was the school's first winner. He finished with a 4.01 GPA, having earned Academic All-America honors as well. Jesus Christ. And in the summer of 2020, Herbert was named the Division I Academic All-American Team Member of the Year. Wow. That's actually crazy. Jeez. To put all that time into succeeding in football while also racking up the academic awards. Not sure how he does it. That's, that's honestly crazy. It's nuts. I keep saying it, but it's true. I mean, hats off to him. Really. Biology guru. Many football fans were stunned when Herbert decided not to declare for the 2019 NFL Draft. Aside from Kyler Murray, the draft class lacked any big-time can't-miss quarterback prospects. So Herbert would have very likely been the first or second overall pick that year. While well, Herbert's reason for passing on the draft and playing out his senior season is rather simple. He wanted to finish up the degree he had worked so hard for in biology, so he decided to come back to do one online course. Just one. As detailed in a 2019 Yahoo piece by Pete Thamel, Herbert would have pursued medical school if the NFL wasn't in his future. Herbert's passion for biology and science isn't hard to understand. As it turns out, his grandfather, Roger Herbert, taught biology for 34 years. Herbert's father also taught biology and science. The biology background in the family helped the Herbert boys learn to love animals, even chasing around frogs and butterflies, as he explained in Thamel's piece. Though Herbert was insanely busy finishing up his degree and preparing for the NFL, he also set aside time to tutor other biology students. How do you have time for all of that? What is he, God? Like, what? <laughs> So he had one grandfather who played college football at Oregon and took him to games to help him foster his love for football. And he had another grandfather who studied biology and taught him the beauty of creatures and nature. Yeah, Herbert had it pretty good. And I'm pretty sure he's like God or something. I don't know. He's Honestly, if he doesn't win a Super Bowl, it's pretty shocking. <laughs> What other interesting facts do you know about Justin Herbert? Join me in the comment section below. Make sure to follow myself and TPS on social media. We post great content all the time. Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube. We're on everything. Go subscribe, go follow. If you like this video, give it a like. It takes one click down below and subscribe to TPS. We post videos every day. Every day is a new video. Of course, thank you so much for watching. I'm Jason Biondo. I'll see you next time. My knee.